Investigators are scouring the van belonging to the man accused of sending mail bombs around the country. The device has targeted prominent Democrats and critics of President Trump. At least 13 pipe bombs have been found, but there could be more. Some of those packages made their way to California, including one addressed to Maxine Waters in South L.A. Randy Page has the latest on the investigation. We can confirm that 13 IEDs were sent to various individuals across the country. IEDs, improvised explosive devices. That's how FBI Director Christopher Wray described the bombs sent to prominent Democratic leaders, including two presidents and three members of Congress. And the FBI director announced the man believed to be responsible is in custody. His name, Cesar Sayoc. The 56-year-old former pizza delivery man and strip club worker is a resident of Florida, but was born in New York. He's a registered Republican with a criminal record that includes arrests for threatening to use a bomb, felony theft, drug possession, and fraud. The mugshots from his various arrests trace a life of crime from the time he was much younger until today. While Sayok was being transported inside this black SUV, investigators were taking his white van into evidence, which has images critical of CNN on display, as well as other Democratic leaders, and images supporting President Donald Trump. We also learned four more packages containing IEDs surfaced today, addressed to California Senator Kamala Harris, Senator Cory Booker, former director of national intelligence James Clapper, and Democratic supporter and billionaire Tom Steyer. The FBI says so far 14 package bombs have been found involving 12 targets. Professor Brian Levin, the director of the Center for Study of Hate and Extremism at California State University San Bernardino, says this is a time to be vigilant, particularly in these final days leading up to the midterm elections. When we have violent statements in the political realm, it can be like a magnet for those who are dangerous and have certain kinds of emotional or psychological issues. And that was Randy Page reporting. Sayok faces five federal charges. He could spend up to 48 years in prison if convicted.